Welcome to the Dot Store. In this video guide, I will show you how to set up the request quote in your WooCommerce store. That helps the customer to suggest the order price before purchasing in bulk or for special products. Let's get started. Once you activate the plugin, the plugin will redirect you to the Getting Started screen in that you can the quick plugin idea. Then go to the Global Settings page and you need to enable settings. Enable the quote request on the shop page and select the button position option from drop down, then enable for shop page, cart page option, and checkout page and few other settings related to quote button after click actions. Also enable mini cart for quotes if you want, among with menu name to display. Save the settings. You have the other option to configure the settings based on requirements like buttons and label settings. Quote page settings. With some quote page table field settings and some button and return URLs including the privacy policy, reCAPTCHA settings, and many more options available here. That you need to configure based on your business needs. In the quote settings menu you can enable the feature to accept or reject the quote by the customers including block cart content, auto send quote feature and more. In the quote PDF menu, configure the invoice layout settings by uploading your own company logo. In the emails menu, there are different emails will sent to customers and admins based on the actions performed. Let's head to the manage rules page and configure the rules to enable quote requests for various products. As you can see on the front side, only add to cart buttons are displayed. First, click add new button and make sure to enable the rule status. Add title here for admin purpose and from the drop down, select all products options. Then select user role option or stock specific settings to enable quotes. Then you can enable quotes for a specific price range from here. Same settings you can do for hide quotes and select option that quote button replace with cart button or add after the cart button and default button label, etc. To save the settings, click on the save settings button. Setting saved now, let's go to front side. Let's refresh the front side to see the quote buttons. You can add few products as quote from shop. Let's add few quotes now. Click on the browse the list link to see the quote page. You can see quotes list here and also you can see the mini cart here in the menu. Go to other page to see the full mini cart. As you can see full mini cart now. Let's go to quote list from here. Now, scroll down and add details with required fields. Like, name, email and quote messages that you want to send to the admin for the quote details to read before accept or reject. Then click on the Submit Request button. Requests have been submitted successfully. Let's go to the admin side to check the quote details. In the admin side click here Quote Request menu to see quote details. See all the details here and click on Edit link to edit. Then, here admin can do needful changes in quote like. Edit some prices of products and it will display discount as well if decrease from original price. Now, admin can select next action as per needs from this quote actions drop down like change status to pending status. Click on update button to change the settings. Go to the front side now. Go to the my account page and in the my quote section, customer can see the quote details with view, accept or reject. Click on view quote button. In the quote detail you can see the quotes with applied discounts. And customer take next action like accept here. It will redirect customer on the checkout page with updated quote prices including discount. And customer place an order by click on place order button. With this order, customer needs to add all the required fields in the billing info here like add the phone number and then again customer can click on place an order button for order. Order is successfully placed. The admin also can check the status of the order. By refreshing the page that order is converted as you can see it here. This way you can configure the request quote system for your WooCommerce store. For premium plugin and unparalleled support visit the .store .com. To test the plugin, 
click the link below given in the description. Thank you for watching.